I'm already known as a black tank guy. So doing this is just going to reinforce that. Everyone's going to be like, oh, there's the guy that does all the black tank stuff. He knows everything about the black tanks. Don't know anything else. Really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I just wonder. I'm hoping I found a solution to something that's irritated me for a while. So I bought this. This is a macerator pump. Is it a pump? It's a macerator. And you put it on the black tank outlet and then you run a normal garden hose into a toilet or uh, a septic clean out. Uh, you turn it on, you open the tanks, it chops everything up, solved. And the reason why is it's irritating. If you wanna go away for a weekend and you wanna go boondocking or something, you then have to pay 20 bucks to go and empty somewhere, either at a truck station or there are some free places. Most of the time they're not. You can go to a campsite and pay 20 bucks. So I'm solving for that. Um, so what we need to do is I've got this. I've already connected the wires. Weirdly, you have to crimp the wires. No idea why you have to do that and why it doesn't just come fixed. Then I need to bring the rig round to our RV driveway. You can go back and watch that video. And then uh, I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna pump it. We have a choice. I can pump it through this window into a toilet that's just behind the wall behind you there, or the, uh, the clean out pipe. And the toilet just goes into the clean out pipe anyway, so I'm just gonna put it straight in there. So I'm gonna go get the truck, bring it round, plug this in, see if it works. I've got two heavy duty black hoses, both brand new, that's why I'm not wearing gloves. Um, and so I'm gonna connect this up. I wanna fill up the black tank first because I know that the water is gonna help this. Uh, and then once we've done that, I'm gonna connect up the macerator and use the same hose to uh, shoot the uh, into the uh, thing. Okay, so the black tank is full with fresh water. I've reversed the hose, now the hose is here. This will just clips on as normal. I'll show you that in a moment. You have an on off switch here. It's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> and then you have the power cables here. And so you connect those to your battery. So the annoying thing is I had to do these connections there. I had to crimp these. That was kind of a pain. Not a pain. I just don't understand why. Should have just come like that. I'm sure there's a reason. Uh, and then these go to the battery. They're not long enough. So what I'm going to have to do, because I don't really want to go out and buy more wire right now, seeing as everything is ready to go, I've got my jump leads and so I'm hoping this is going to work. <laughs> so I just put the jump leads on here and then connect these to the battery. That should be enough, do you think? Oh, I hope so. Oh well, we'll find out. All right, so we're done. I have absolute confidence that this is gonna work. Um, I've put some old clothes on just in case, but we've connected the power up, the pump is in. You can see in here, you can see the macerator inside there. So I'm gonna clip this on there and then I'm gonna turn it on. Actually, I'm gonna do the gray water first. I'm gonna put it in, empty the gray water, see if it pumps it out and then we'll run over and make sure it's coming out the other end. Sound good? Sounds fun. Okay, total confidence. This is a really hot thing to have done when it's like a million degrees outside wearing this, but I am very worried this is just gonna explode and it's just gonna shoot all over me. Right. 
I'm emptying the grey tank. Don't know why the grey tank is brown. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. It works! I think. I can see it flowing. <gasps> yeah. Can you run over and see if it's coming out the other end? It's okay. only grey water. You should be fine. Nice. Yep. It's working. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn off the grey mm. and then turn on the black. Moment of truth. I should be wearing gloves for this bit. Okay, we're by the house. Oh, oh that sounded nice. <laughs> okay, right now this, I'm gonna stand over here. So apparently this does have an overheating shut off as well, so if it gets too hot uh, or you run it dry, it should shut off itself, which is pretty cool. Um, follow me. Can we not stand here? It's working. It's working. <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay, so it's working. When you do this, maybe wear a mask or something. You know all those masks no one's wearing anymore? Just keep some, I'm still like 10 feet away and I can still taste it. Uh, anyway, it's working. I can hear the pump. This is 100 feet and they say it won't work with 100 feet, but this seems to be working okay. Yeah. Like it's shooting out of that hose. Uh, Right, I'm going to go back and then just basically watch it for when it when it stops and then I'm going to run the grey water through. Um, I may go and get our fresh water hose as well and just fill up the, the grey tanks a bit more. Give them a bit of a rinse out. I'm probably going to take this off now because I think I'm going to pass out. Oh, it's done. I pushed the button, I pushed the button. Tip. Yeah, yeah. Typical that happens just as you went in to go check. <laughs> Grey tanks? No, it's still full of shit. Oh, that's what. Oh, so we had a slight block. So it's coming through again now. Hey, and if not, you could do your fancy back tank. I can't because we don't have the hose. I think it just needs some water. So what I can do is get the fresh water and then just flush the toilet. As we're doing it. Yeah, I think it's because. Um, and honestly, we've been really bad after we went to Atlanta, which was two weeks ago. It's just been sat there. Um, and we tried to be careful with the water usage when we were in Atlanta because we were boondocking. Mm -hmm. So uh, we didn't use as much water as normal. So I think we'll go get the fresh water hose, connect that up. Yeah. Uh, and then make sure that the toilet's got loads of water in there so that this can easily flush through so it's not getting clogged. Okay. Good. Glad we chose to do this on a really cool day. <laughs> All right, I've waited two months for this. Uh, this is a zero G expandable hose. Uh, the reason why I wanted this one is because this is one of the only ones I could find that was drinking water safe. Mm. So the rest of them that we use, we use one for our black tank, but um, it's not drinking water safe. And I think it's because the stuff in the hose actually breaks down, whereas this stuff you can actually drink from it. So um, yes, there is a back order on these. I shall leave a link, but I'm gonna warn you, it took two months to get this. Um, and I wanted the 50, the 50 foot because we currently have a 25 foot um, and there's been a couple of times where I've had to break out our heated hose in the middle of Florida because we didn't have more than 25 foot. So yes. Right, let's crack this open and go and uh, fill up the toilet. I have my lovely assistant here to uh, press the button for me. Um, so I've checked in the toilet, it's all very clear. This thing is amazing. It pumps so much quicker than I ever thought it would. The, we did hook up the black tank flush just to make it quicker. St standing on the toilet flush to, to fill it up with water was a pain. So black tank flush is much quicker. Um, and we can see, we also have the, the Valterra valve because our black tank valve, the proper one actually leaks a bit. 
So we have, we bought this one and you can see it has the clear thing on. This is the best thing I've ever bought for our trailer, <laughs> actually. Um, so we can see how clear it is. Um, it's, it's amazing, I can't say enough good things about this, apart from maybe the wiring. They can make that longer and just connect it up from the factory. I'm not sure why they did that. Why they did that. Anyway, uh, very happy with it. We recommend it. We'll put the link below uh, if you need one. If not, we will see you next week. <laughs>